In this video, we will talk about workflows. Uh, we'll have a look at the uh, user interface, how to navigate, how to filter, how to search, and of course, how to register a, a workflow. When you open the workflow application, you will see that the view is divided into two parts. You can adjust the width of the view by placing the mouse cursor on the vertical line until the arrow icon appears. Left click, hold and drag to adjust the width. In uh, this example, you see the workflow grid on the right hand side of the screen, containing all workflows in your chosen home org unit. On the left hand side, you can see workflow details. You can move the workflow details to the opposite side of the screen by pressing the icon at the bottom of the vertical line. You can also collapse one of the sides to show only the workflow details or the workflow grid. You can do this by clicking one of the icons on top of the side panel. You can scroll down to view more data. On the workflow menu bar, you find the following options. New workflows. The uh, new workflow option lets you create a new workflow from scratch or from type. Filter. The filter option lets you reduce the amount of data displayed in the grid. Common Tasks lets you import workflows, manage groups, export selected uh, workflows, import from BCF, show workflows on map, and uh, Kanban splits. The search field on the menu bar lets you search amongst the workflow titles. By selecting a workflow in the workflow grid, it will be displayed in the workflow details. By clicking the process link, you can view the workflow process. Display of a workflow is listed in chronological order and the information and description of the workflow is at the very top. The current workflow level will therefore be on the bottom of the page, marked with a red rectangle. The side panel displays the following options. Details which allows you to display workflow details. Filters lets you create your own set of filters for faster search amongst the workflows in your chosen home or unit. Columns. Select columns for the workflow grid. Export lets you select workflow columns to be exported as a PDF or Excel. Layouts lets you save or reset a column workflow grid layout. Group by folders lets you select amongst workflow sorted by org unit and process. In every column, you can reduce the amount of data in the workflow grid by creating filters. Simply click on the funnel icon, make your selection and hit apply. Under the uh, option common tasks, you can choose to import workflows in bulk. Export selected workflows. This option uh, allows you to pick workflows and uh, export the selection as a PDF. By pressing the workflow idea, you can choose to edit the workflow, export it as a PDF, upload an attachment, etc. You can do the same actions in workflow details. When you want to create a new workflow, you can do so by pressing the option New Workflow. There is also predefined workflows that can be used. By pressing the drop down menu next to New Workflow, you get the option from type. Press the button and select workflow type. Then you fill out the workflow before finishing with submit workflow. You've just seen how to navigate through the user interface in workflows, how to search and filter, and of course, how to register a workflow. More uh, information on this topic, check out docs.omega365.com. 
Thank you very much for uh, watching. See you in the next video.